Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, February 7th. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 75 and 76. And Isaiah chapter 57, verse 3 to 13. And please join me in singing the first verse of the second part of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Now shall my solemn vows be paid to that almighty power that heard the long requests I made in my distressful hour. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. Alleluia. Psalms 75 and 76, and please recite them together with me. Alleluia, to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name and declare your wondrous works. You say, at the appointed time, I will judge uprightly. Though the earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved, it is I who bear its pillars. I said to the fools, do not boast, and to the wicked, lift not your horn. Lift not your strength on high, and do not speak with a proud neck. For judgment comes not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. God humbles one and raises another. For in your hand is a cup full of wine, foaming with mixture. You pour it out and they drink it to the dregs. All the wicked of the earth shall drink it. And as for me, I rejoice forever. I sing praises to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All the horns of the wicked will be cut off, but the righteous shall be strengthened and exalted. Alleluia! In Judah you are known, O God. Your name is great in Israel. Your tent is in Jerusalem, and you make your dwelling place in Zion. It was there you broke the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword and the battle. You are more glorious and excellent than the everlasting mountains. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep and none of the mighty can lift their hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and the horse lie stunned. You are to be feared, and who may stand in your sight when you are angry? You cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still when you rose to judgment to save the humble of the earth. Surely angry Edom shall praise you, the remnant of Hamath will rejoice in you. Make your vows to God and pay them to the Most High. Let all pay tribute to God who is worthy of our respect. God breaks the spirit of rulers and strikes terror in the leaders of the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. Alleluia. A lesson from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 57, beginning at verse 3. But as for you, come here, you children of a sorceress, you offspring of an adulterer and a whore. Whom are you mocking? Against whom do you open your mouth wide and stick out your tongue? Are you not children of transgression, the offspring of deceit? You that burn with lust among the oaks under every green tree? You that slaughter your children in the valleys under the clefts of the rocks? Among the smooth stones of the valley is your portion. They, they are your lot. To them you have poured out a drink offering. 
you have brought a grain offering. Shall I be appeased for these things? Upon a high and lofty mountain you have set your bed, and there you went up to offer sacrifice. Behind the door and the doorpost, you have set up your symbol. For in deserting me, you have uncovered your bed. You have gone up to it, you have made it wide, and you have made a bargain for yourself with them. You have loved their bed, you have gazed on their nakedness. You journeyed to Molech with oil and multiplied your perfumes. You sent your envoys far away and sent down even to Sheol. And you grew weary from your many wanderings, but you did not say, It is useless. You found your desire rekindled, and so you did not weaken. Whom did you dread and fear, so that you lied and did not remember me, or give me a thought? Have I not kept silent and closed my eyes? And so you do not fear me? I will concede your righteousness and your works, but they will not help you. When you cry out, let your collection of idols deliver you. The wind will carry them off. A breath will take them away. But whoever takes refuge in me shall possess the land and inherit my holy mountain. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, and please respond. Hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God, that God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. We pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O precious God, you are our defender and savior, and your name is great in all the world. Raise us up to sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. 
Alleluia.